Assalamu alaikum. You've just caught your spouse cheating. What do you do? Well, I can tell you it's a very difficult moment because you probably are very upset, extremely sad, and at times shocked and in disbelief. Emotions are running high. Sometimes there might be yelling and screaming happening because of that disbelief. Try and calm yourself down. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Calm down. Don't make decisions. Don't make decisions while your emotions are running high and you're angry, you're upset. Don't make decisions during those moments. Calm down. Give it a moment. Sit down. Relax. May Allah make it easy. Now, what should you do? You need to ask yourself a few questions. What exactly did they do? Look at the magnitude of the cheating. Because cheating is not all on one level. I mean, a person who has just sent SMSs or messages to someone is very different from a person who regularly met up in order to commit the sin of adultery or whatever else it may have been, the physical intimacy. These are very different levels. So it depends what exactly they did, what you can prove beyond doubt. If something is doubtful, give them the benefit of your doubt. That's your spouse. But if something is proven beyond doubt, it's there. If it is on the highest level, then you need to look at what type of a spouse this person is. The cheater, the one who cheated. Is he generally a good person? And if it's a female, is she generally a good person? A brilliant person who fulfills the rights who actually has a good relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well, whose character and conduct is beautiful, they've sacrificed for you and they've made a mistake. Subhanallah. If that is the case, consider that perhaps Allah exposed the sin of theirs early in the day in order to make them stop what they were doing through his mercy. He did not want them to continue. So out of his love for them, he exposed them right at the beginning and they were caught. And when they were caught, everything stopped. And when it stopped, it's the time to seek forgiveness and earn the pleasure of Allah. Had they not been caught, it would have carried on and the sin would have been perhaps taken to other levels. So consider the fact when you do catch your spouse cheating, depending on the level of cheating, if the spouse is generally a good person, it could have just been the mercy of Allah exposing that weakness or that sin to you so that you can raise it and that sin can stop and it's no longer committed because Allah loves the person. Like I said, had it not been exposed, perhaps it would have continued. Consider that. So in that case, I would not recommend that you broke the marriage or just ended it or said, right, I'm going home. People will advise you in some cultures. They don't give people a second chance. I'm telling you, good people also make mistakes. That's why I say, take a look at what magnitude of cheating it was and take a look at what type of a person it is. Who is this person? Are they really uh, decent? Are they good? You know, are they worth being the mother or father of your children? Are they worth actually being your spouse? They faltered. Okay, you know what? Good people do make mistakes. Perhaps it was the mercy of Allah. So don't come and invoke the punishment now of Allah by making decisions that would really not be worth your while or your children or your families. You might regret that decision. Some friends are such that when they hear about a little bit of cheating, perhaps, like I said, there are different levels. They'll tell you, that's it, end it, go home, you'll find someone else, you are worth much more than this. You know, you can't allow this to happen and so on. And little do they know that a year or two down the line, that spouse would be happily married to someone else and you're busy sitting here licking your wounds because someone gave you wrong advice. So I'm here to tell you, think before you make decisions. I'm not belittling the fact that cheating is unacceptable completely. Like I said, emotions will run high. You're a human. And sometimes we do some silly things when we catch our own, you know, friends or anyone, uh, family members doing something bad. What about a spouse cheating? May Allah forgive us. May Allah strengthen us and grant us the ability to fulfill whatever we want in a halal way. I mean, so my brothers and sisters, remember, 
when you're making a decision consider all of these factors now if they had a habit and if this thing went right to the end and it was proven beyond doubt and the person involved is a spouse who doesn't fulfill their rights no character conduct you know the level of it is extremely low they're abusive they're emotionally draining and really they're not a pleasure to live with at all then perhaps it's a sign from Allah to say you know what walk out that's what it should be walk out and as for the cheater, my beloved brother or sister, don't ever blame your spouse for your wrong actions. People actually have the audacity to come up and say, well, I did this because you don't show me enough love. I did this because you uh, don't spend time with me. I did this because you are not there for me and so on. All those are problems I do agree need addressing, but they do not justify your sin. That's what it is. They do not justify what you've just done. So they might, or whatever you've mentioned, yes, it may be a problem that you should have raised before and dealt with it, but doesn't justify what you've just done. So one of the worst things to deal with is a, a thief who's justifying the robbery. Come on, man. You know, a, a perpetrator who's justifying the adultery. No, no, no. You know, People say, you must apologize. Number one, seek forgiveness of Allah. Seek forgiveness of Allah. Number two is apologize without being asked to apologize. You know, I believe when someone demands an apology and you give that apology, it's hypocritical in a lot of cases because they didn't want to give it, but you said, I want an apology. So you write an apology or you give an apology. They could just say, I'm sorry. They're not sorry because you've asked them to say, sorry that's why they said it a true apology is that which comes without it being asked it came from the heart of the individual if they're remorseful if they're apologizing if they're good if they if the sin they've committed is on a level that is forgivable subhanallah ya rabbil alamin you know what i know of people who've forgiven and their relationships thereafter have become much stronger not just among them but even with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is why it's important for family members, extended family members. If your child had a cheating spouse and they want to get back to that cheating spouse after they have made amends and reconciled, please support them, support them. Good people also make mistakes at times. Good people also make mistakes at times. Obviously, I've addressed it well. I've actually said it all depends on the person as well as the magnitude of the sin. And it also depends on whom that sin was committed with. Sometimes it's too close for comfort. Sometimes it's unforgivable, man. How could you do this with someone who's so close? So it depends. Now, in the eyes of Allah, there is no sin that is unforgivable. Even shirk, if you seek forgiveness of it while you're alive, you're forgiven. That's clear. But you need to know something. Human beings are not Allah. They won't forgive you that easily. It takes time to rebuild a relationship, to build the trust. It would take ages. Sometimes it may never be the same again. You have to work on that. You have to prove yourself. You have to make sure that you build the relationship. Come on, you have children, you have so many responsibilities, you have built and invested so much in this relationship. You cannot just blow it by sinning, by cheating and so on. May Allah grant us all halal ways of fulfilling whatever we'd like to. I mean, so my brothers and sisters, these are golden words of advice. Sometimes our friends will come and tell us, break it, like I said, and that may not be the best advice. I told you, calm down. Sometimes seek the guidance of someone whom you respect. Ask them. The sad thing is, if you talk to your friends, the whole village is going to know what happened. And people will start talking about it and make it very difficult for you to reconcile. So don't go out and just tell the whole world and announce it on social media. My husband was cheating or my wife was cheating. Hang on. It will make it more difficult for you to reconcile. In initially, keep quiet about it. You know, try and process what just happened. Make a lot of dhikr. Remember Allah. Seek the forgiveness of Allah and the guidance of Allah. Perhaps you might want to consult people who you really trust. They would give you advice which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, may have given you.
Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.